Hey guys, Saw Simon here, and thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Today we are talking about Friday the 13th the game and 10 new perk ideas I made up for the developers to add to the game to make the playing experience better, and to actually add in perks that players would use. If you guys enjoy the video, do the button thing, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoy the video and get something out of it. Here we go. This perk can be very helpful for those players that tend to get injured a lot and are tired of running around with a limp looking for a med spray. Will to Live will allow you to keep running even if you have been injured to the point of limping but at a huge cost. First, it will drain your stamina twice as fast as normal because of the amount of energy and focus you will need to keep running after being so badly hurt. Secondly, it will require at least two, maybe even three med sprays to heal you back to normal health and to the point where it will stop draining your stamina twice as fast. However, if you are using the medic perk that has extra healing, it will only require one or maybe two sprays depending on the damage done. Useful item for those players that like to play fast and loose. How good are you at the quick time events? How good are you at them with a shitty repair character? Well, if the answer to that question is, I don't use low repair characters, this perk could help change your mind. Slow Learner allows whoever is using it to keep their cursor moving at the same speed even when you hit the correct button sequence. The point of this perk is to give players the time they need to input the correct choices because when you do this normally, the speed of the cursor increases, which also increases your chance at making a mistake. By using this perk, it will keep the speed of the cursor the same, hopefully giving you the correct amount of time you need to hit the right button. Its downfall, however, is that making a wrong choice will ping your map and show Jason exactly where you are at, but only for a few seconds. However, making multiple errors will ping the map again and again for the same amount of time until the repair is fixed or, you know, Jason kills you. This idea I think might be overpowered, but I want to include it because as the game has changed over time and players get better at playing Jason, I think new perks need to be made to help players keep up with how well everyone can be at playing Jason. So this perk allows you to heal other players with increased healing at a faster pace. It also lets you get multiple uses of a med spray. However, the one downfall to this perk is that it does not let you or anyone else heal you. Meaning you can't take any damage and if you do and someone heals you or you heal yourself, the perk becomes void for the rest of the match. The idea behind this perk is that you are the camp doctor and you should be healing the other players while they try to complete tasks on the map. Just an idea to help expand how the game can be played. We all know to wear our seatbelts, and if you didn't before, you will have a great reason to now. Seatbelt allows the user, when they enter a car, to only be pulled out from the vehicle from the same side they entered it from. So, if you get in on the passenger side of the car, you can only be pulled out from the car from the passenger side. Jason can't reach through from the driver's side and grab you to pull you through. This works for any seat in the car. It should help give players the extra second or two to get the car started or even to get out of the car to whack Jason one time so the driver has that extra second or two to get the car started and take off. Even if he gets lucky and can morph and stun the car, he still must pull you from the correct side of the car. So this still gives players the chance to fight him off while allowing the driver to try and get the car started back up and take off. This perk is meant for teamwork alone and the negative effect should also help ensure it stays that way. Sweater allows you to pick up the sweater and carry it like a quick select item. The drawback however is that it takes up two spots in your inventory. This way if players decide to try and take the sweater and keep it on themselves so others can't use it, they can't carry a pocket knife and a med spray to troll Jason around the map preventing other players from being able to try and kill him. The idea for this perk is to help players acquire the sweater for other players when they are attempting to kill Jason. Let's say you have Bugsy that can run to the shack and pick up the sweater and then run it back to AJ so she can stun Jason as Tommy shows up then everything would work out just fine and that way AJ doesn't have to run all the way to the shack and then all the way back while trying to keep Jason occupied long enough to be able to have all the pieces in place to try and kill him. This perk is a bit sexist in name, but it goes both ways, that's what she said. If you are a female and get caught by Jason and are being rescued by a male character, it will give you a boost to your stamina for a small time. However, if you are rescued by a female character, it will put you more into a panic mode and your fear will increase slightly. The same goes for the male counselors as well. Being rescued by a female will help you while being rescued by a male will hurt. I know it doesn't make much sense, but... This perk is for those crazy ass players that are so awesome they don't give a shit what Jason they are playing against. When you are in range of Jason's sensibility you will appear bigger and brighter than normal and any sound you make will be amplified to get his attention. The whole idea of this is to be able to troll Jason and keep him chasing after you even if he doesn't want to. Just make sure when you take it that you are aware of the consequences. Jason will be able to see you a lot easier with this perk on and pretty much with no work at all once he's in rage mode. This simple perk will allow you to make all of your phone calls faster. If it's the cops or even calling in Tommy Jarvis. 
I know this perk seems silly, but it's for those times in need when Jason is hot on your trail and he knows you are fixing the fuse box. Sometimes players can repair the box, but just can't get inside to make that call because Jason is right on you. However, sometimes Jason forgets to damage the fuse box while he is chasing you. That's someone who repaired it and in those small time frames of opportunity is what this perk is for. That third person needs to take this time to sneak into the house and phone the police so the other counselors have a chance at escaping. I know this scenario is not the one that happens to players when they are trying to do these things but that is what this perk is meant to do this one is easy we all know that a car pulls when you are taking a bunch of people somewhere because it's faster and easier this somewhere just happens to be the quickest way out of camp and to the cops carpool will allow you to travel faster in the car for each passenger you have along with you this means you might want to drive the car around and pick up some people or let them know in chat what perk you have and that you need them to help you escape faster. This should help you find a couple people to tag along with you and ensure that you will be the one driving the car. For each person that comes along, the car will go a few miles per hour faster ensuring you will be able to escape camp at max speed while everyone else is left in the slow lanes getting slaughtered. As a downfall to this, since, you know, you can't carry that many people in the boat, this will drastically affect the speed of the boat in just a general sense. So if you do take this perk, don't plan on escaping by water. We have all been there. We know the cops are coming and Jason is on us and we are making our way to the exit on the map where we know the cops will show up. And as the counter ticks down and the cops show, we realize they spawned on the other end of the road and we are screwed. I know this has happened to people other than me and it's very annoying. Yes, it's fair, but it still pisses me off to get so close to escaping and then to have to watch Jason kill you. Police scanner says, screw all that shit. If you are carrying this perk and you are the one that makes the call, this perk will allow you to see which end the cops will be coming with one minute left before they get there. Normally I would add some type of negative to this perk, but honestly, I think it doesn't need one and here is why. There is never a guarantee you will be the one to call the cops, so this perk in a way sort of hurts itself, because if you don't find the fuse, you won't get any use out of it at all unless you make the call. My reason for the one minute mark is that if players know the entire time which exit they will come from, everyone will be hanging out there trying to survive and it cheapens the experience. This way, no one can hide there for too long giving away where the cops might show and alert Jason, so he can set up traps or use some other type of method to get his victims. Well guys, that is all I have for you on this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, do the button things, yeah, you know all that other shit. Check out some of my other videos, especially the game modes, because, you know, that'd be cool if we can get some of those made. I got a new news update coming out that will be related to some of the game information that we've been having lately, and all my thoughts on it, along with an idea for something pretty funny that I'm hoping is going to work out with the single player challenges. Hope you guys check it out and like it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.